And now, the CEO of Hooli, Mr. Gavin Belson. Thank you, Mayor Wilkins. Thank you, Goldbrier, for this warm, wonderful welcome. You know, being in North Carolina always feels like a bit of a homecoming for me. I own a vacation property just off the coast in Bermuda. Technically, it is my primary legal residence. Good people of Goldbrier, for too long, foreign interests have used unfair trade and labor practices to plunder American wealth and steal American jobs. But I don't blame them for that. No, I blame weak, spineless American politicians. But if your mayor does his job, your jobs will come back, and soon you will proudly be building the Gavin Belson Signature Box 3. But if for some reason he can't make my very reasonable proposal work, you know who to blame. I'm excited to get started. What about y'all? <laughs> Well, Mayor, I sure have enjoyed our time together. Let me know when you get this done. Uh, hey. Mr. Belson, I'm sorry, but this list of demands is not remotely workable for a community of our size. Well, Mayor's job is never easy, but you'll find a way if you care about your constituents. Uh, Mr. Belson, I grew up in this town. I've lived here my entire life. I'd do anything to wait, help Wait, 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 wait. Your entire life? Mm-hmm. How old are you? 47. That's a little weird, isn't it? The point is, I'd do anything to help the people of this area. But giving you public money on this scale would decimate our budget. I could have the local high school renamed after you. Rosa Parks has never even been to Goldbriar. I don't want a fucking high school. I want to manufacture boxes at an 80% profit margin. I don't understand. All my asshole friends keep getting NFL stadiums and corporate headquarters all fully paid for, and you can't make one fucking factory happen? I mean, the only things I have left to cut are essential services. There you go. Do that. You could have a volunteer fire department. Because I can't afford a penny more than this. Everybody ready? Two, three. Oh, okay. Carolina. Well off the dead of them. Jump the prance. Oh, Carolina. Well off the dead of them. Jump the prance. Oh, Carolina. Got well off the dead of them. Tell you if I jump the prance. Well off the dead of them. Jump the prance. Carolina. How's the factory coming? We almost online? Not exactly, sir. It's gone. What do you mean? Did that dipshit mayor renege on our deal? No, he made every effort, including having the factory repainted. OK, so what's the problem? Well, apparently, the painters left some oily rags in a garbage can. Mm -hmm. But because of cuts to the sanitation service, the trash was not collected, and the rags smoldered and caught fire. And because of cuts to the fire department, the blaze spread. A number of concerned citizens volunteered to help fight the fire, but because the water was cut off, they could not. Okay, so what happened? Well, the vast majority of our expensive rare earth materials survived the fire. Well, that's something. Until the flames abated, when because of mass layoffs of police, the locals that were there to fight the fire decided instead to loot the burned out factory. The National Guard attempted to reach the factory to help stop this, but... The road. The road, sir, yes. Okay. So we lost it all. Everything? Yes. Also, the IRS called. Somehow they found out about Bermuda. <laughs> 